Hey, you must be Jory. I am. Jason, what's going on? I just got to town. I'm excited. Want to hang out, awesome. have a beer, and talk about a little art prize? Yeah, let's talk about let's art prize. I have to be honest. I am from Detroit, but I've never been to art prize. So tell me a little bit about it. Well, first of all, that's okay. And I want you to come this fall. And cheers. cheers. That is important. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, so a little bit about Art Prize. Um, it's a 19-day event. It happens every year in downtown Grand Rapids in the fall. We have we award, award over $500,000 in prizes wow. at the end of the event. Half of those are awarded by public vote, so the public decides what they think is great art. And on the other side of that, a jury is selecting their favorite and their top artists, and they're awarding $250,000. And so it's that contrast between what the public thinks is good art and what the jury thinks, right. the experts think is good art, that creates this really dynamic conversation. I said earlier that I'm from Detroit, so we talked about our prize, but let's talk about Oh, Grand Rapids. Yes. Like, what is it? You know, Grand Rapids is an exciting place to be right now at the moment. It's a mid-sized city. Like many cities, it's seeing a lot of activity and growth. You know, for me, when I was thinking about moving to Grand Rapids, I was seeing the, the arts happening here with Art Prize and all the other great arts institutions, but also the design, heritage, and legacy here, you know, with the, the furniture companies. And then the technology industry here really is starting to take off. And I think the combination, the unique nature of those three industries colliding together there's a lot of interesting things happening here the art prize is actually what moved me to Grand Rapids I was visiting the city didn't know anything about art prize and showed up downtown and saw art everywhere and I thought this is a city I have to be in even the short period of time that I've been with the event uh, has been really fun to see it's inspiring it makes makes me get up every day and get excited to come to my job Jason, brother. Martel. Nice to meet you, man. You awesome? Chill. Yeah, man. What's going on? Not much. Bikes on bikes on bikes. Oh, you know this, man. You know this. <laughs> when I come to town, bikes, pizza. That's what goes down. So that's why we're here today. Yeah, yeah. So spoke folks, the shop, when you say shop, mm -hmm. and you say you're out, let's talk about shop first. So shop is, it's not your traditional shop of what people think. Right. right. You know, it's, it's more of a co-op shop, It's correct? a co-op. Okay, so, so talk so about that. A learning space in, in every way where if you want to keep um, your bike working to the best of its ability and not having, and, and also being able to learn about your own bike and do the work yourself uh, and have an employee kind of walk you through that, that's the meat and bones of why the organization was kind of started. So we're a fun crowd who likes to just get you know, more butts on bikes and have people enjoy their bikes as much as we do. So yeah. Okay. Let's eat some pizza and keep talking because I haven't had my pizza for the day. Once we talk about you know, Grand Rapids, I'm talking about like, like how it's been changing. So I grew up in Grand Rapids my whole life. Um, pretty much been here for 30 plus years, so I've seen the change, especially being somebody who lived in the neighborhood. Um, definitely a big push towards bike lanes. I think it's caused, it's like forced uh, drivers to interact with cars in a different way. Uh, you know, cyclists have every right to be in the road as a vehicle does, and we also have to obey the same laws. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. I gotta ask, what do you think of the pizza? Have you Pretty eaten good. here before? I have eaten here before, but it had a lot of meat on it. <laughs> <laughs> I hang out here all the time. This is my first time coming to Good Pizza, yeah. and I'll definitely be back, man. Yeah, yeah. We're going to Pyramid Scheme after this, man. Yeah, great I venue. Did. I They're did. super That's huge right. supporters of the Spoke folks. They okay. Eat support us with everything pretty much we do. They're actually one of the sponsors for Beer City Bike Fest. Like, that place just puts on solid shows all the time. You're right? welcome to join, man. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, right. I, would love, I would love to hang with some locals, man. Yeah, so yeah, let's yeah. do it. I mean, if you want to do it, let's do for it. For sure. All right, man, let's eat some pizza. <laughs> Thanks for giving me your time, bro. Yeah, no Thank problem, you. man. To have the opportunity to come and really connect with people on the ground that can give me a different perspective. But like I said, it's really cool to be able to cipher with people 
who can really give you the reality of what's going down in a city like Grand Rapids, you know? So that's where it's been crazy and I never seen myself where I'm at now, but it's giving me a weird perspective on the city that I grew up in, but getting to be in a lane where so much is happening and I get to talk about it. For sure.